Uh, it has been a very long day. This is the day after the shenanigans and going out and being with all my coworkers. Um, so it's just been kind of like a slow day. I feel like we were very lethargic for most of the day because there was a lot of wine and a lot of beer last night. So uh, just one of those days, you know. But anyway, I did go to work and I got a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys. First and foremost, Kelly, my best friend and bridesmaid, won this Echo Dot for me. She got picked first and I was screaming at her, be a best friend, Kelly, be a best friend, get the Echo Dot. Because I thought about buying this from her because she ordered an extra one and now she's returning it. And then we had the option to win this and she got picked first because her raffle ticket got picked. So it was actually really awesome. And so she got that for me and I got her, I don't know, by the time they called my raffle ticket, I'm pretty sure I got her something very odd and I don't even remember what it was. Anyway, I'm charging Alexa right now. We will use this pretty soon, so that's exciting. A couple things that I need to figure out what to ask her. Designed around your voice. Just ask, blah, 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 voice recognition, voice control, your smart home. Pretty freaking cool. I love all that stuff. I eventually want to have a house that is completely smart so I could say, turn on the lights and the lights would turn on and all that. So that would be pretty cool. Now a couple of things I wanted to show you guys. This was a really cute little thing from my childhood best friend who I've known since the third grade. I'm gonna put this down. We'll see how this can work. There's a shadow. So this was her way of asking her bridesmaids um, to be her bridesmaids. So. Um, it's a cute little box. It says, will you be my dot 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 and it has my name on it. So it's actually really customized and really cute. And I obviously ruined the bow because when do I ever keep a bow in place? Let's be honest, guys. Um, but the entire box is super cute. It says, <clears throat> it says my bustle guru on this side, uh, tiara adjuster, teeth checker, shoe picker. Um, just really cute stuff. Cake taster. I will be the cake taster and the alcohol taster. Uh, late night phone call. Freak out calmer. I think. Butterflies. My tummy. Butterflies in my tummy soother. Dancing queen partner. Okay. So really cute box. Really authentic and super cute. And then this is what's on the inside. We have a little amount of these guys just to protect the middle and then I don't know if I'll be able to take this out because I've kind of wedged it in there when I first opened it but this has my name on it and it's one of those little bottles that you would put a message into and then throw it in the ocean and then see who would get the message so I corked this up but you can uncork it and then see how I'm gonna get this out of here Okay, that was a lot easier than I expected. So in here is a little scroll, and it says, I found my man, but I still need my girls. Dear Adeletta, will you be my bridesmaid? Love, Liz. So she got these cute little custom scrolls made for this. I think it's a really cute presentation. Super, super cute. So that is awesome. So of course, I said yes. My childhood best friend is getting married. We actually got engaged in the same weekend, if you guys remember uh, me mentioning that on Instagram. We got engaged literally the same weekend. She was back home in California, which is where I grew up, and then I was in Norway. So it was very crazy timing. Okay, so normally I don't get as excited about personal, I can't even open this with one hand, personalized things. But this mascara has my freaking name on it. Oh my gosh. And it's actually spelled right. Who would have thought, you guys, somebody can spell my name? That is so cool. I love the personalization of this. I almost don't even want to use the mascara, but I want to know how good it is. This is the brand new mascara from what I read, and I don't have the paperwork with it, but I just love the personalized element. So cool, right? 
And then I got a really kind and thoughtful gift from Monica Vinader, which I was completely not expecting. I was completely wowed by this because I did not expect anything from them. Um, they're mostly focusing U.S. bloggers in the two big cities or, you know, two to five big cities in the U.S. So I can't work with them even though I really want to. But they sent me this bracelet and I just was not expecting it. I thought it's beautiful. It's very similar. It's the same style as the one that I showed you guys that I got customized that says Ada on the outside and then Erin on the inside. It's the same style, but this is a really gorgeous rose gold. Actually, I think it's just gold. I think I'm pretty sure it's actually just gold, but it's beautiful. Monica Vinader honestly is so gorgeous. I mean, just look at this presentation. It is so dreamy. And I'm putting it back into this cute little sleeve to protect it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love everything about their jewelry. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's very luxurious, luxe. This would be such a great Christmas gift in case you guys need something. Probably not. You won't have enough time to get it shipped. But it is so beautiful. I'm just so impressed. And this is their website. It's monicavinegar.com and it's there. It's a little bit more focused there. Absolutely beautiful. This box is gorgeous. It's just the perfect gift for someone in your life who loves jewelry. And then my friends and I did Secret Santa this year. So we each, we had a budget of $50 and then we each um, picked one person. That way we didn't have to, you know, buy a gift for every single person. Mine was Kelly, which worked out really well because she, she knows me pretty well. I mean, they all do. Everyone in our group knows me pretty well, but Kelly really nailed it with this. So her gift was really paired around the idea of Portugal. And I'm sipping on a bottle that she got me. There was two of these. This is green wine. And green wine typically comes from Portugal. And we had it for the first time when we were there. And also what we did when we were in Portugal, we played Monopoly for hours one night. And we got so into it. Between Aaron, Kelly, Alyssa, and myself, we tore it up. And Aaron beat us all. And at one point, I actually had asked Aaron to lo loan me some money so I didn't have to get kicked out of the game. And he wouldn't do it. He would not do it, ladies and gentlemen. My fiance would not give me a loan to continue playing in this game. He does not mess around. So then Kelly gets really competitive too. So it was just the two of them in the end because I had already gotten out and they'd already taken Alyssa out too. And it was just so intense. There was yelling. It was pretty freaking hilarious. There was a video recently where a group of friends gets together. I think you guys probably saw it. It was one of those videos that went viral on Facebook, but the friends all get together and <laughs> everyone's all happy. They show up, they've got drinks and board games, whatever. And then after like an hour of Monopoly, everybody is gonna like kill everybody in the room. They're all pissed off. Somebody took their money. Somebody bought a house on their, like took their property, then bought a house. Now they have to pay them taxes. Oh my gosh, it gets so, it's just like ridiculous. It's one of the best board games of all time and it's my absolute favorite board game of all time. So the fact that she got me my own, cause we don't have one here. We just play it when we travel and if we ever see Monopoly somewhere, we'll go grab the board game. But it's really nice to have our own. And she also got it because it was one of those things that we could share together because now I'll bring Monopoly over to her house. She has Cards Against Humanity and um, What the Meme. She has those two, so like we can truly have like a board game night, which sounds so fun because when you're an adult, you can drink when you play board games, which is way more fun. It's much more funny too. So anyway, that's my story. Monopoly is the shit. I love Monopoly. And then of course, because she's so thoughtful, she couldn't do something that like wasn't super thoughtful. It was like she had to do this, so she created a calendar for 2018. Um, with a photo of myself and Aaron, this is like our engagement photo. Even though we didn't do real engagement pictures, we just, we're just so chill. Like we don't need to do what everyone else is doing. Um, so this is basically every month has a different picture. And there's a lot of months with uh, all the girls. And we actually surprisingly have a lot of photos together. I didn't even realize this. Um, but yeah, this was probably one of our first photos because I can't remember, this was probably, no, this was Summit of this year, so this was probably one of the first group photos, but 
there's uh, Aaron and I in Portugal. Kelly took that photo. Here we are at the, uh, this is like the wedding celebration bridal announcement. Um, there's a photo from us in Norway. We have this photo. When was this taken? I like my legs in that one. Um, th these are Orange Theory legs. Um, I think this one was over the summer. This was Kelly and I in April. This was um, the Conor McGregor fight. We all went out for the McGregor versus uh, the Jose Aldo. I can't remember. There's me and Aaron from that uh, congratulatory wedding little celebration. And that is it. It's a beautiful calendar to go on my desk of 2018 with amazing photos. I really love stuff like that. Very thoughtful, very incredible. And then it sounds like she got a little bit of feedback from Aaron on this one. This is a beautiful and very heavy marble serving board. First of all, she said she got this because she knows that I like to eat cheese and wine. And girl knows me pretty well. I mean, I'm drinking the wine now. I don't have cheese in the house today because we haven't been doing a lot of grocery shopping recently because we've just been all over the place and we got back from Phoenix. But I love to put cheese, wine, and crackers on a serving board and this thing is so beautiful. So I can bring this, basically have all of these things out if I host the girls over at my house one of these nights at some point. So this is beautiful. Then the other reason she said she got this is because she imagines me putting makeup on it and taking photos for Instagram. I was like, girl, you know my life, get out of my head. <laughs> so this was amazing. And then these utensils go perfectly with this. This is the cheese cutter. Um, we have a little knife. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's a very nice, nice gift. Something that we will, of course, of course use, but just a very thoughtful gift. Like she's so good with thoughtful gifts. And I, I was thinking mine was thoughtful with like, you know, Tiffany having like her own relaxing night, but we are just all as a group so thoughtful for one another. It's amazing. And it's just amazing to have a group of friends where everyone is thoughtful and thinks about everyone else's best interest. And gosh, it's amazing. So, Anyway, I'm going to put all of these things into this box. I'm trying to pick up a little bit. I've already cleaned the floors and gotten rid of some of the stuff that was down there because we've just been a little bit messy because when we got back from Phoenix on uh, Sunday, we were just too tired to deal with anything. So it's kind of a mess out here. So I'm going to try to maybe throw in some laundry in about 45 minutes. And then I'm just going to like pick things up and like put things away. You know how it goes. And then there is one other thing I wanted to show you, actually. Another uh, Christmas gift that I got from a very old friend that we've had since we came to the United States. My mom was part of this English second language learner course. I think this is the story. I could be telling a lie. I'm not sure. This is what I remember. But um, her name is Samantha, and she basically gets me a Christmas and birthday gift every freaking year. And I haven't seen her in so long. So it's just the most thoughtful thing. And she always checks in with me and I told her that I was engaged and she's just always so happy for me. So it's really, really cool, very thoughtful. But she got me this Michael Kors jacket, which is actually perfect because it's kind of, it's nice and thin, but this is what I'm looking for after an Orange Theory workout in the cold because right now it's like 45 degrees outside and if I go out there sweaty, I will get sick because I get sick like it's nobody's business. So like something thin like this just to throw on for me to get into the car is perfect, but it's also very fashionable to be honest with you guys too. So she got me a medium, which is perfect, but it's got the MK down here. It's got a pretty Michael Kors zipper, of course. And then is there anything on the back? Nope, nothing on the back. So it's like very simple, but it's a nice black sweater jacket. I never know if it's a jacket or a sweater. So don't, uh, don't get mad at me if you are annoyed that I don't know what it is, but I love that. Super, super nice. So just a lot of random gifts that I'm just so thankful for. Now what I'm gonna do is upload the video that should have gone up yesterday, but there was too much drinking involved. By the time we got home, I was like, I'm not. I'm literally not opening up my laptop. I'm going to freaking bed. So um, I'm gonna go do that. I'll even edit this vlog probably and get it ready to go. So it's ready either 
tonight or first thing tomorrow that way you're not getting two back-to-back -back vlogs in a row and I just want to say a big thank you to all of you guys who have been sticking with me for vlogmas there is a very small percentage of you but you guys did tell me on Instagram that you were gonna be so busy I have been so insanely busy with all these campaigns right now because there's so much going on with like last minute shopping and Christmas and this and that and so I can't imagine who has the time to watch my vlogs because I'm not anybody special um, but thank you so much thank you from the bottom of my heart for anybody who is watching um, I would love to see your comments down below I appreciate um, you guys tuning in and listening in and um, I have out of claws giveaway number three going on right now I'm gonna have giveaway number four probably in tomorrow's video because I need to pick up a couple different things um, to ensure that I include them in that giveaway because they are part of brand collaborations and I want to make sure I have those products in the giveaway so we can talk about those brands then so I'll try to do that tomorrow or on Saturday so yeah tomorrow is Friday I'm like what day of the week is it I can't remember so anyway I hope you guys are having an awesome day having an awesome night wherever you are and I will see you in the next vlog